Our title for today's program is Separating Separation Technologies for Capturing Nutrients from Manure. And I'll just make one or two comments to start us off. If you looked at some of the options available for separation of uh, manure into a liquid and a solid stream, uh, you'll find that there are quite a range of products, uh, both uh, mechanical systems as well as uh, uh, chemical separation. And they each have kind of, many of these will each have unique opportunities or unique roles that they uh, can present. Now, we typically talk a lot about the technology and its performance, but I would encourage us to think also in terms of what is the end product that we desire, that liquid and solid co-products that are coming out of that separation. That should be an important consideration because in many cases, that may define the type of separation technology that will be most valuable to us. And it's not like there is one technology that's always going to work in all situations. I think each of us have different expectations, different needs. And so really, by looking first at the products that are coming out of this, what are the desired characteristics that you as a as a animal feeding operation would like to have for those liquids and solids. And I think that often will define the preferred technologies that we should be looking at. So give some thought to that end of the system before you really spend a lot of time evaluating individual technology. Uh, we might be asking that question from a perspective of the nutrients and their characteristics could also be doing the same from air emissions or solids characteristics in terms of what will pump well, what will handle well, or even in terms of pathogen and antibiotic type characteristics uh, in the manure. Today, our discussion is going to focus on nutrients. And so there might be issues such as uh, what is the desired nutrient concentration? And do you want most of that nutrient in one product? So this is possibly phosphorus in the solid product so you can move it outside of a region. Uh, do you want a certain nutrient ratio that matches the needs of the crop? So the nitrogen to phosphorus ratio that would best match the crop requirement. Uh, do you need to recover certain nutrients that are of higher value, possibly ammonium? Or do you need a product, a, a liquid that is pretty much free of nutrients and pretty much a water, maybe that's not entirely clean, but to treat it to a point that it can be recycled through your animal feeding operation? So those might be examples of things that ought to be going through your mind as you're deciding what those end products ought to look like and as you're deciding which of these technologies might best fit your 